Hey, this is Mike. I'm just checking out this 2015 Chrysler 200 C and uh, this blue one here. This is the S model right beside it. Now the C is a uh, pretty decent package in the Chrysler 200 and uh, this one has uh, a pretty good amount of options. It has most of this has all the standard options of course and uh, this one's been upgraded with the V6 engine but uh, let's take a look at it. Uh, one thing I want to mention is check out my night video on the to that the Chrysler 200 because uh, it's pretty neat the way it looks at night with all the lights and stuff. This one is absolutely filthy, but it's a brand new car. But it just needs a, it just needs a good washing. But here in the front, you can see it has halogen projector headlights and fog lights. And this whole section right here, you see in my night video. This is a LED uh, running light. Uh, let's see if I can start it up. This one does have remote start. See if we can see that at all in the daytime. Yeah, I mean, you can see it pretty good. Uh, just kind of when you're cruising on the road, you can see it coming your way. But it looks, it looks better at nighttime. It has 17 inch alloy wheels and this this car does. Of course it has four wheel disc brakes. It has the dual chrome exhaust tips. And it's pretty quiet. It has a 3.6 liter Pentastar. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the trunk. And as you can see, uh, it has the backup camera. There's the lens there. All right, so here in the trunk, there's the the license, the front license plate bracket. You got a pretty good amount of room, and those uh, seats do fold down in case you need some extra room. So this is a proximity key. I'm going to go ahead and just put it in my pocket now and lift this up and this is where you'll find your kind of donut spare tire and just just you know on the side note here uh, some cars don't come with a spare tire anymore so make sure if you're looking at a new car make sure that you are aware of whether it has a spare tire or not all right so the vehicle's still locked and since i have the key in my pocket i can just put my hand here and it unlocks the reason for that is it has a proximity key system to where as long as it senses the key nearby within five feet or so and then my hand here then it unlocks i can relock it by pushing this button so now that it's unlocked let me go ahead and start here in the back the back seat this one has black interior Got a bottle holder here in the door. Has like a metal looking handle. Black leather. Looks awesome. And you can see where it's kind of, uh, kind of, I guess you can say, form fitting to your shape. It has a little bit, some bolsters here. Even in the back seats, which is kind of uncommon. So a lot of cars don't have this bolstering here in the seats. It kind of keeps you snug and comfortable and uh, not sliding around too much does have the latch system for the uh, you know for car seats and stuff back here this folds down and there is your cup holders and a little place to put some stuff and you've got a little access to the trunk area if you uh, if you need that this folds down using this strap there's a strap right here you pull that and it releases the seat and folds down in case you need some more cargo space. And of course you can just put it right, put it right back up. Just want to pay attention to the seat belts and make sure they don't get stuffed in there. And you have a pretty good amount of leg room back here. There's your rear vents. Let's see what it looks like there on the ceiling. Got good headrests. It's 
pretty interesting shape here on the, the side mirror. And we've got a little side marker light there. That was another cool thing I found out about uh, the 200 is it has a laser brazed seam here. So you can see there's no, there in the, in the top, there's no like um, weather stripping. It's completely 100% brazed from one side to the other. So, uh, so that way uh, you don't have to worry about it. It's more, it's stru more structurally sound, but you also don't have to worry about any kind of weather stripping, uh, cracking or leaking or anything like that. So here's the inside of the driver's door and you see it has like a ebony wood trim here and then you've got like a metal trim and your bottle holder there and there's your door lock controls and power window controls and side mirror controls here. Speaker here, power seat. Uh, a lot of people were kind of shocked that the limited trim level does not come standard with a power seat. Now one guy pointed out that in Canada it does, but in the United States it doesn't, so that's pretty pretty interesting. But um, this one does have the power seat with the lumbar support, adjustable lumbar support. Automatic headlights, dimmer switches for your, your gauges as well as your ambient light, which you will see in my night video. Very impressive looking leather seats in this car. This one and the, uh, the Model S. Here's the Model S. It's got like the uh, embroidered S in the back, but really cool uh, kind of sporty seats with the bolsters on the side, on the bottom, and they're very comfortable. So I'm going to hop in here. Extremely comfortable, comfortable seats. So you can see it's telling me that the door is open there. As soon as I put my foot on the brake, and I'm adjusting the steering wheel with this adjustment here just push it down and you can adjust it up and down you can also get in and out so once you get it right where you want then you just lift this up and lock it into place and it's solid as a rock so here on the steering wheel it is a leather wrap steering wheel with some stitching here in the middle and uh, it does have like the the grips there to kind of make it give it a sporty look on the back of the steering wheel we have these little see this little thing sticking up with the plus and minus those are paddle shifters so you can really want to get sporty you can cycle through the gears the eight-speed transmission with the paddle shifters which is a pretty neat feature and uh, before I get to there's a little bit more I want to go over on the steering wheel but I just want to show you the, the different um, alerts here tells me kind of cues me in on what I need to do on this vehicle I used the remote start so it's telling me that I need to push the button to activate everything and also telling me the doors open <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and push the start button just to kind of activate everything there we go now everything kind of comes to life I'm gonna turn the fan down Matter of fact, I'm going to turn the fan off. All right, so back here to the steering wheel, just below the paddle shifters is a volume button. So I can turn the volume up and down. Let's see if you can see that back there. You can kind of feel it back there, right below the paddle shifters, and you can adjust the volume there. I can change you the stations on this side, and then that way I can keep my hands on the steering wheel while going through the radio. Now here on the front, this is your cruise control. You just got to make sure it's turned on. And you'll see the little thing turn on to let you know it's ready. And then you can go ahead and push the set buttons there. Pretty standard. I mean, they've had the same uh, controls for cruise control for forever. But this one's real simplified because it's, it's right there. There's no little side thing that you got to reach over and touch or whatever. And here's on this side, it got a bunch of buttons. Uh, first of all, on the bottom is your Bluetooth, and uh, the screen button is where you would make you would make calls and also receive calls. The red button is where you end your call. VR that stands for voice recognition. You can push that button and tell the car that you want to call somebody. You want to change to a certain station. 
um, you know there's different voice commands that you can use and the vehicle comes with a little booklet that says uh, you know how to use the voice recognition because it is a little bit of a kind of not have to know what to say if you don't it kind of like gets a little aggravating if you're not familiar with it and uh, but don't give up it is is very useful once you get used to it so uh, learn how to use it it is worth the extra time to learn how to use it now up here you've got the okay with a bunch of arrows and that corresponds with this neat little color screen now I'm gonna go ahead and shut the door so it'll take that alert away you can see it says 200 now right now it's just showing me the speedometer now I can scroll down I'm gonna use the down arrow here on the steering wheel I'm gonna push down okay so when I go up or down you can see at the top it says speedometer and I can push to the right and it changes it says um, to use performance shifts like sport engage pedal paddles okay so that's a little bit more a um, little bit of I want to get into that a little bit later but uh, right now I just want to show you speedometer scroll down vehicle info and then when I go to the right right now it's showing the tire pressure I can cycle through to the right and it gives me more vehicle info not just the tire pressure and it cycles back there now I could scroll down again fuel economy and uh, this will uh, this is where you can kind of get your average and stuff like that and you can reset it the vehicle has very low miles so it is um, you know the the average is a little skewed uh, trip info it's really cool with the trips because you got two trip 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 a trip B but it gives you a distance but it also gives you an average miles per gallon and also a timer so I scroll down again this is telling me what my radio is doing uh, any stored messages will be here like say if it's telling me to time for an oil change or something like that would be here and then you can set up the screen and change like right now it shows the temperature outside temperature there the range there and I can change those like say to a compass or distance um, let's see here it's already got the range so I mean I can change it to a compass or the time or different things like that in this screen setup screen and then it cycles back to speedometer And of course you have a regular speedometer there to the right and then your tachometer RPM gauge there to your left. So that's what these buttons do here so you can control that screen. There's your windshield wiper controls there and your uh, your turn signals there and your brights. And the, the, the headlights are active to where when you have your low beams on and you turn the head your headlight your to high beams you'll hear a little little sound that's because it's refocusing those projector headlights to get you a longer range and also an elevated range all right so here's your radio this is a touch screen now this is a C with a small touch screen which I would prefer one with the larger one but that's just me you know not everybody wants a big screen here but it is a touch screen and right now it's on the radio screen and you know I can I can you know change through stuff I can have presets here at the top let's say I want to have that as a preset here I can push that hold it and it'll save it there AM FM satellite radio media now when I push the media it's telling me there's no media available but there is a USB port where I can plug in it's down here there's a USB and, a, and an auxiliary input there and you can also use a uh, Bluetooth when you pair your cell phone or if you have some kind of Bluetooth device that plays music you can uh, access the music here uh, through the uh, through the system here wirelessly um, phone this is where you will uh, you know pair your phones but also once your phones paired you'll have your phone book available recent calls and a keypad well all that will light up right now there's no phones available and also you have that transfer button that transfers you back to your cell phone if you want to have a private conversation and you don't want your conversation to be played through the speakers of the car like say if you have somebody in the car with you 
right here is your compass gives you a pretty cool compass there and a digital compass right now I'm facing south this is your climate right now I have climate off and you, you know there's your your heated seats here in the front but I could turn climate on and uh, as you can see it's a dual zone I can adjust it like that or I can um, basically if I wanted to go the, t the the passenger wanted to change their 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 uh, their temperature independently you just push this button and you can adjust it you know on on your own there fan speed I can adjust that and you do it that way or actually touch the fan I can sync them again and you notice like say right here is they're together and I push the sink they go apart but let's say they're synced there and I push this button they split apart again so it's all about you know there's there's always different ways of doing things uh, when you're dealing with software and uh, hardware mix there but and moving on to the more button and this is where you get a little bit more information your clock you get a big clock like say you're running late for work you really need to pay attention to the time um, for whatever reason you can uh, have that big clock there uh, you can go into settings there's all kinds of settings that you can do for the screen here and you can also turn off the uh, automatic uh, rear view mirror it has a automatically dims when there's somebody behind you with the bright lights on all right so this is your four-way flashers there all right so down here is your another volume another tune through the stations uh, in addition to the ones on the steering wheel you can always push the screen off button and it'll turn the screen off you can always push the back button if you want to get out of a certain menu on the screen this is a tra traction tr traction control button and um, you can always turn that off default is on but when you push that it turns it off and you'll even alert you up here that it's been turned off so that's something uh, you know you want to make sure that you know it's off so there you know you've got some redundant buttons your your temperature and your fan speed and all that stuff it does have an automatic temperature control if you'd like to use that rear defrosters front defrosters now this is a shifter now a lot of people you know kind of see this knob and they're like what is that and they don't realize that this is actually the shifter so right now I'm gonna turn it to reverse and once I do that, the backup camera will show up here on the screen. And the two lines there, they give you an estimated trajectory of the vehicle while you're backing up. Now, if I turn the steering wheel, which I'm doing now, you see they turn they, because you're actually going to be going in that direction. So it kind of gives you just an estimate. It's not 100%, but it gives you a good idea of when you back up. You notice there's a Jeep behind me, and those lines kind of go into the almost the same size as that Jeep because uh, you know of course when things get further away from you they get smaller and this is a wide angle view you can see these uh, you know goes all the way from the, the bumper to the sky so it kind of gives you a more realistic view of your of how wide your vehicle is when you're backing up so let's uh, go ahead and put it in drive like so and um, now I'm going to push it down and push it to the right and that engages sport mode and remember earlier it said uh, you know you have to engage sport mode before you can do the you know before you do all the spout the paddle shifter so now I'm in a speedometer I'm going to go ahead and push to the right and I'm going to push the pedal I, I engaged it in sport now I push the the paddle there and this is a uh, you know this is where I can shift through the gears and it tells me exactly what gear I'm in so right now it's not gonna let me like shift until it's time but it, it, there's a there's a certain range in which will allow me to shift so it's not gonna let me mess up the engine or anything or the transmission but it will give me more control over the shift points so that's a pretty cool thing all right so I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in park this is the parking brake I don't know if you can hear that, but there's an electric parking brake if you uh, 
if that little light's on, you're not going anywhere. It's going to cinch down and you can't move at all. But, uh, and another thing is, um, you can, if the door is open and you try to move the vehicle, this will also cinch down automatically. So if you accidentally leave this in drive and try to get out, it's not going to roll, it's going to maybe roll a foot, maybe one foot or two feet. And uh, this will cinch down and keep your car from just, you know, just kind of rolling away. So that's a pretty neat safety feature. So back down here, this is, um, I just want to show you the cup holders first. There's the cup holders, and there's like a little pocket there to put maybe your cell phone or whatever. But, um, but this slides back, and then you've got this big storage compartment. And that's where your USB and auxiliary inputs, plus you have a power supply there. And, um, but also you have this little hole and uh, this little hole leads down to this little kind of shelf down here and basically you could put stuff down there and run wires up through that hole to charge like I say if you have a cell phone or a tablet down there you can run the wires up to the USB port and uh, and charge it so it's pretty cool it's pretty neat that they uh, they have have some extra space there where it's kind of out of the way. Alright, so this uh, closes back. Now this right here, this for one thing, it slides forward and back just to kind of get you know a little bit more comfort. But it also lifts up and um, there's some more storage back here. And it's all one compartment. I don't know if you can see that. But uh, you know, there's different ways of accessing it. And there's your little voice recognition book to kind of get you started. Quick tips. And uh, that I was talking about before. Up here is your auto dim rear view mirror right above it these little bumps on top of the mirror those are actually your microphones for your uh, Bluetooth system right here is tap lights the place to put your sunglasses is here and there's rubber on the inside no foam not to say that foam is bad but uh, let me just adjust my seat a little bit back so I can get a better view now this is the, the visor. Now right here on the bottom of the visor is your garage door controls. And you got a light with, I mean you got a mirror with lights there. Same, th same thing on that side. But yeah, this is a really nice car. It's totally different from the, the old Chrysler 200s. I mean, completely night and day different. Glove compartment is like a mile back there. It's huge. So, um, so try to get it if you ever get in one. This one and the Cherokee, if you ever get in one, try to touch the back of the glove compartment. It's, it's way back there. But let's take a look under the hood. And so I can show you the V6 engine it has. <clears throat> it has one. I know you can't see it for all the plastic in the way. But uh, V6, V6 3.6 liter, and it has the uh, the nine-speed transmission. And I'm sorry if I sometimes slip up and say eight-speed transmission, but it has a nine-speed transmission. But um, it has a VVT system that gives you better horsepower and acceleration, and also keeping you with good gas mileage, very good gas mileage. There's the battery. It does have a installation there. Everything in yellow. Everything's kind of color coded here. The stuff in yellow is stuff that you would, you know, you can check on your own and all that stuff. So, um, so that way, if you're not familiar with engines, you just kind of you look for the yellow. So there you go. If you have any questions, let me know. If you could like, subscribe to my channel, like the video, share it with your friends. Um, I mean, basically, my intention is to kind of help you shop for cars and and kind of show you the vehicles that. Uh, and that way you can kind of look at them on your own time and you don't have to actually deal with you know people at a car lot or whatever um, in the moment you can actually kind of watch the videos and um, watch other people's videos and 
you know try to make a more informed decision on which car you want to buy or which trim level you want stuff like that but anyway i appreciate you watching and i'll see you next time thanks